Good morning. I'm Miss Tambellini. And I'm Miss Renahan. And this is our English 10 class at Deep Run High School. And today we're starting our unit where we're going to be reading Antigone. And there's nothing like starting an ancient Greek drama than with a little speed dating. So let's go ahead and Miss Renahan, do you want to talk about what yeah. they're going to do? All right, guys. So we're not actually dating, of course. We are using this format to kind of get our juices flowing and get into the mindset for Antigone, okay? This play is super, super old, and it talks about a lot of themes that we still consider important today, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have very quick 90 second conversations about the big themes, okay? So they start jostling around our brain, and when we're reading, when we're reading Antigone, we can focus and pull them out a little bit more, all right? So you guys are sitting across from somebody. Wave to them, say hi. Okay, there you go. Um, ben, you are not, we'll figure you out, don't you worry. And here's Luke, we'll figure you out with Luke right away, okay? Um, you guys are going to spend 90 seconds talking to the person across from you about each of the topics that are on your sheet of paper in front of you. After 90 seconds are up, we're gonna rotate and you're gonna get a new person to talk about the next topic with, okay? So, you're gonna talk to six different people about six different topics. As you guys are talking, we want you to be jotting down some notes from your conversation, okay? What are some of the big points? Um, what are some questions you still have? Did you guys agree? Did you disagree? All sorts of things, okay? These are questions that have no right answer. So sometimes you're not gonna agree, okay? So for example, if Mrs. Tambellini and I are partners and we're, our topic was ice cream is the best dessert, and I say, well, yeah, it is. And I'm like, that's stupid. It's not a great answer and it's not going to do much for the 90 seconds. So let's be respectful and also to help the conversation going, maybe you could ask, well, tell me more. Yeah. Give us some details. Ask why. We're going to have some extra questions on the board. So if you run out of things to say to talk about, you can look at those and answer those because our goal is that you're talking for the entire 90 seconds. Okay? So for topic number one, Go ahead, let's get set up. Oh, actually, Luke, go scoot over across from Ben. So we are Write your partner's set. name. So write your partner's name in topic one. All right, and so you, remember, you have 90 seconds where you all are discussing, listening and discussing. All right, ready? All right, let's go. All right, doing what you think is right is more important than following the law. So you want to like not break the law? It's like it's not the right thing. To just do. follow. And just follow the law. Okay. That's it. Like, just. There's nothing much. There's like. Why do you think somebody might feel that way? It's more. It's more. It's more important than doing what you. What doing what you think is right is more important than following the law. Why would you think that? Why would somebody might think that? And they just want to express how they what they believe. Do you think of some consequences? What do you think? If you don't follow the law, what could be some consequences? Yes. Yeah. All right, that is time. So what we're going to have you all do, so this row right here, okay, and then this row with Quinton. So we're going to have you move clockwise. So everybody stand up. You're just going to move one walker. You're going to come around here. Aryan, you're going to go around there, so you're moving to the next partner. To our next, no, not you. You stay, everybody else, you stay. But you right here, just on the outside. And then Preston, go down one. All right. You guys stay. So let's start our next date. It is impossible to change your fate. I think it is possible to change your fate. I mean, 
the cards with the face. Your face. Uh, big me, big me, big me. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a really hard question. Do you agree? I feel like yeah, maybe it's like yeah. possible to alter it and like you delay it. But yeah. I don't think it's possible to actually change. It's like your face is already set. You can't really change it. Why would somebody disagree with that then? Do you have some examples you could think about? Half the people end up in jail. Oh, okay. What you do and just predict what's going to happen. That was a good comment, Jared. Nice. Rylan, what do you think? Uh, I thought that I disagree with that because when you're when you're if you if you're a bad person, you can always change like who you are and how you act towards everything and everyone. Okay. So okay. you can always change and be a good person and that's right. like that. Okay, very nice. It's a good one. There we go. Really depends on what you think personally. Be more important than the loyalty to the government. Yeah, because family is kind of everything. Like, yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Wait, no, I agree with that. I agree. What do you wait? Do we just put I agree or do we just keep writing more? You have to write more, I think. Do you think it's more important to be loyal to family or the government? Okay, okay. What do you think about that, Arian? You agree? Okay. We're on topic four. You should never go back on your word or promise. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, it just depends on what happens. Yeah, no, I disagree with that. Because I've definitely went back on my words or promise. Well, uh, that's hard. All right, time's up. Let's move to the next one. A good leader is always popular and well liked. All right, what do you think about that, Arian? So you agree with that? Can you think of some examples of like good leaders and bad leaders? So, so that's the question, the follow-up question. What do you consider to be a good leader then? What are some traits a good leader has? Someone who listens to people below them instead of just going on with all the Okay. What do you think? What's a bad leader? I guess like teamwork. Okay. Okay. Because so teamwork. And that doesn't always mean you get a lot right? Okay, okay, keep it open, y'all. What do bad leaders do then? What are the bad leader traits? Very good. A good citizen is hard, patriotic, and loyal, and never questions the government authority. Okay. I'm going to go with no. So a good like, citizen, patriotic, and never questions the government authority. Do you agree with that or disagree with that? I think you could be a good citizen without I mean, um, like you can question the government. Just and be a good question. Person. Not don't always question the government, but most of the time question. Them. By yourself, not like just like a sheep. 
of the government, not trying to sound like overly bomb here or anything, but like what there is a really is a corrupt government. They're trying to control everything. Like not the USA government. They're not corrupt like that. But. All right, time's up. Oh, so we're not moving now. So this is what you're going to do next. So you've gone through those six topics. You are going to pick one that you would consider for a second date. Not your partner, but the topic itself that would be a good class discussion. You can think about some of the main, uh, main points, why is it important, any questions you might have. So under that final reflection, you're going to take three minutes and write about one of those topics. Does anybody want to share which one you picked for your second date? Caspian, do you want to share? Um, what I want to discuss more is uh, what a good citizen really is. And uh, this discussion would be very important because everyone has different opinions on it. And it would be helpful to talk about how we as people could uh, improve and Good. Well, that's a great, that's a great, very relevant topic right now. Good. Does anybody else have one? Walker. Um, I chose it's an impossible to change your faith because it gets the mind working and shows how the other person thinks about things and also shows what the other person considers to be your faith. Good. That's good. Anybody? All right, Luke. Um, I chose... Interesting points. Anybody else want to share? All right. So we really appreciate you participating in our speed dating today. Um, the reason why we did this is all these statements that you all just talked about, you are going to see them as we read Antigone. This play was written in 44 BC, a really long time ago but you will see connections, so as you are reading, be thinking about these statements if you could see where they could come up. Thank you for joining our class, uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching us speak. Thank you. Wow. Wow.